So if you stack them back to back and then just unfold them, it's kind of like a double-sided print, you know, flip on long edge or whatever. As always, how do we plan our day? I don't know. It's doing the things that need to be done and having fun. So my daughter's almost finished with that doghouse, but she needs a handle to lift the lid up. Um, and you could go buy one or whatever, but that's not what we're about. So I have these little blanks here. Oh, and got to have my morning coffee. So found these these little blanks that I was going to make keychains out of. I never got around to doing it. So I have, you know, a bunch of those. Stacks of them and stacks of them. I think I have 58 of them. Um, anyway, I have all these little blanks that I was going to use. So what I'm going to do is just... Uh, this is an old U-boat off of the uh, utility trailer we made. Um, there's a video of that where he's basically stripping down the boat trailer and took all these off, moved the axle back and stuff. So we have all these. So what I'm going to do is cut this down to just about the handle size, weld it to these, drill some holes in it, and then she can mount it to the front of the, um, the doghouse lid like that. And then we'll see if we can rig up something to, you know, like a... Uh, a car hood uh, thing, you know, that you, you know, when it, when it goes up, you stick that up to hold the lid up or something. So anyway, let's get started on that and uh, we'll have a nice quick project for the weekend and something that needs done. I'm sure there's be plenty more to do. You never run out of chores around the house and, and the place is, you know, there's always something to fix or something to build or something to do as long as you get outside and do something. So that's what we do. I was editing my video. I wanted to be done by noon. It's 11:44, so Monday's video is ready, and now I can work on something. And uh, you know, she's planning on going to Alaska here soon, and um, guess I got to get the stuff done for her before before she leaves. It's going to be an adventure. We'll see how how that works out. So I think. Yeah, about two and a half inches should be good. I think this, uh, yeah, that'll be a good handle. You can still get your hand in there, um, grip it, have plenty of room. So, and uh, or maybe I'll just cut it off right at the threads. That way it sticks out past the tin. And yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to, I'll cut it off and then I'll go look and see if that works or not. But anyway, uh, she's got one more week. So we've got a few things to finish up before she leaves. And that's what we're gonna work on. kind of how we plan. We don't really have a plan. We just come out here and see what needs to be done, and that's what we work on for the day. Um, sometimes we feel like being bums, but, you know, it's, it's a, little, a little more rewarding once you come outside and you actually get started, then it's kind of fun, so. Yeah, I may, this may be a little too much for these. may have to get the grinder out. Get it back in the jaws and see what happens. get the grinder to cut it. Okay, so what I've got is, um, got this cut off here. I'm gonna mount this right in the middle and then um, put a screw here and a screw there. So I'm gonna put this one a little bit high in the corner so that you can get the screwdriver in there without any issues. And then um, I'm just gonna weld this right in the center and that'll give her a handle to, to put that up with. So I'm just gonna mark one and then I'll just stack them together in the vise and then drill them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole big enough for this and put it down um, flush and then I'll weld around it and then I'll I'll back it and I'll put a little thing in here to give it a little bit of backing just to make it a little bit better weld and uh, we'll see how that works out and if it doesn't then I'll just weld it around the edges and do the best I can and glob a bunch on there so all right let me get this uh, marked and then we'll drill it out so I've got my marks here uh, this will be where we're gonna weld the handle to it's gonna be the inside screw hole and the outside screw hole now in order to put them together on the vise and drill all at the same time you're gonna want to put them you know, back to back, not stack them like this. If you stack them like this, then you'll you'll have your outside one, you know, it'll be, you'll have an inside and an outside. 
So if you stack them back to back, when you're done drilling, you just flip it over. This is the side I've already sanded down a little bit so it'll be ready to weld. So if you stack them back to back and then just unfold them, it's kind of like a double-sided print, you know, flip on long edge or whatever. So that way, when you're done, you'll have your inside hole and your outside hole up here in the corner. So back to back and then go drill them. Gotta give me some clamps. Okay, so there's my holes. Uh, the two screw holes to secure it to the, um, those are probably gonna be a little, need to be a little bit bigger, but I'm gonna use the metal to wood. Um, they're self-drilling anyway, but I just wanted to have a pilot hole so that they'd know where, they, where to put them, so. And then flip them over, you got your mirror image on the good side that's already been sanded. Um, that's the rusted, you know, mill scale, whatever side. And then hopefully this will fit right in. Yeah, it's a little bit big of a hole. It probably was, uh, this is a 3 8 hole. So I'll have to figure that out. And um, But it'll give me some good good weld to to hold it in place. I was hoping to fit it a little bit tighter so I could just weld, weld around the sides. But I think that'll work out just fine. like that. That way you can get your drill, your hole in here and your hole, your screws on the sides. So that should work. Just get a little coat of paint on there. Then she'll screw it down and see how it goes. Well, another little project done. And like I said, just get outside and do something. And uh, save yourself the money. But not just that, just you can do it yourself. And it's uh, probably more sturdy sturdier than one you'll buy for five or six dollars at Home Depot. As always, get outside, do something. We thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.